my name is David Deal and I work for Hexagon PPM. I'll take a few minutes here to talk to you about Caesar II and some of the recent changes we have made to the program in terms of its analysis capabilities. First of all, Caesar II is our pipe stress analysis program used to evaluate the safety of high pressure, high temperature piping systems. Now usually when you think about piping systems analysis, you think of hydraulic analysis where you look at pressure drop and change in pressures and, and flow rates. Here we're not talking about that, we're talking about the structural response of the piping system to a variety of loads. In using Caesar II, the engineer will model the piping system in terms of its stiffness and then introduce a variety of loads to that piping system to evaluate the response to temperature, pressure, and dead weight. The program then will evaluate the stresses of the piping system and compare those to the industry-defined allowable limits. If the system is overstressed, then the engineer can reroute the piping or modify the support structures. That's basically what Caesar II does, and it's been around for over 30 years already and is probably the most widely used pipe stress program in the world today. I want to talk about three analysis changes that have occurred to the, the piping program over the last few years. One is the addition of the um, codes for the Japanese market. Caesar II has long done a lot of seismic analysis, but in Japan the earthquakes are so severe that they have what's called KHK level two earthquakes, severe earthquakes, where the, the ground is shaking so hard that the, the supports sink into the ground. Now, piping systems supported by these types of supports will not function after the event, but what the engineers want to do is assure that the piping system does not collapse onto uh, systems below that must be uh, uh, functional. So to do this type of analysis, we have to assume that certain components actually turn into plastic hinges. They're no longer elastic, they turn plastic. So this is a major change to the program, having these, these plastic elastic components in the program. This will be a, a feature that will be released in, in CETRA 2 2018. Two other items that I'd like to mention are, one is uh, a document for the American market called B31J. It's an update to a book uh, that uh, uh, improves on the work made by Markle of uh, two turns back in the late uh, 50s, still using the codes today. Uh, this is a, a change that will be released uh, any day now, basically, and Caesar II will allow you to use these new values for flexibility and strength of various piping components today, rather than waiting for them to be added to the piping codes. Uh, this is an add-on that you can download from Smart uh, Support. It's called uh, B31J Essentials. Uh, you can download that now if you're a current user of Caesar II. And finally, uh, another change to the program is the uh, uh, super element that we have available through a third party. Pollen Research Group has a tool called FEA Tools that will create a finite element model of individual T connections, branch connections, that can then develop the stresses that will be used in Caesar II. So there you have three new things that uh, has been taught to this old dog. Thank you.